Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to be reviewing the first book I've read in 2020. That book is Watch Over Me by Mila Gray. Watch Over Me is a teen romance novel written by the author Mila Gray who has written several other books that are quite similar to this. And this is an author I really like to read, so I'm really excited to review this book. So I'm going to start by explaining some of the characters of the book. The first character I'm going to start off with is Zoe, who is the main protagonist of this novel. She is an 18 year old girl who is helping raise her younger brother and sister while her mom works to support the family and her brother is off in deployment for the Marines. Her father was a domestic abuser who is in prison, so that has put a huge effect on their family and that's why she's helping raise her siblings. And the next character is Tristan, who is a college graduate working for the Coast Guard. He is really good friends with Zoe's brother, Will. And that's how this kind of connects the two of them throughout this novel. So the story starts off with Zoe and her family living in Las Vegas. They used to live in New Mexico, but that all changed when her father was put in jail. Her mom is working as a makeup artist for one of the clubs down in Las Vegas. And she is working at a coffee shop there. So one night after she comes home from the coffee shop, she's helping her siblings get ready for bed. And all of a sudden there's an explosion in the air outside the house. And when they go outside the house, they learn her car has been torched and the fire has started in the house. And her brother is also missing. And they think maybe he started the fire, but deep down they know it's her father. And then they learn that her father has been released from prison for good behavior. And that's when she kind of knows that this is her father because her father wants vengeance because she is the reason he is in jail because she testified against him. And so her brother comes to their help because he's currently on leave and he gets Tristan to help them. And so Tristan helps them get an apartment in the same complex he lives in and he helps set Zoe up with a job and then his tenant helps her mom get a job. And they kind of like get accustomed there and they start to feel safer but they still feel like there's something suspicious going on. And then weird things start to happen again. And she just knows it's her dad. Her dad is not obeying his parole and he is basically tormenting them. And that's kind of like the conflict of the story. So the romance aspect of the story starts when Tristan is protecting Zoe. While protecting Zoe, he starts to feel feelings that are more than friends. And she starts to feel them too. And it's complicated because neither one of them has the courage to commit. She's scared because her father has taught her that all men are kind of bad. And he's scared because he doesn't want to hurt her because he, her father, she doesn't want to be another man who's hurt her. And it kind of starts this will they won't they aspect in the story. You one time think they're gonna end up together and then everything goes away and then it just goes back and forth for a while. So when it comes to the way this book was written, I think Mila Gray did an amazing job writing this book. I was constantly captivated by the plot and I never got uninterested. There wasn't a second where I was like going, dang, I'm bored, I wanna put this down. I constantly was reading this book until I finished. The way she does her character development is so fluid and smooth. And it just really shows like how a girl comes to like feel better about themselves. I love how Zoe goes from being a weak girl who's scared and just terrified of everything and then she becomes very strong and independent. And then Tristan on the other hand is very like self-conscious of how he can be a committed person and he becomes more confident in how he can be committed to people. And it just is really beautiful to watch those two grow together. And I also like the way she writes her conflict. It's very like fluid as well. I never got confused at any point in this novel, which is really good because there's a lot of books out there where I'm reading and the conflict just gets so confusing and I can't keep up. And I never have a problem with that in Mila Gray's books. So overall, I think this book is a great read. I recommend this to anybody who likes to read teen fiction books. It's juicy, but not too juicy. And I like that. And also she has several other books that have characters that are in this. Like the characters in this book have their own stories and those stories are great as well. So I highly suggest reading some of her other novels because they're really good as well. 
and I hope this review helped you determine whether or not you want to read this book. I highly suggest you read this. It's so good. I loved it the entire time I read it.